okay, I'm going to have to wait then. It's two weeks on since the Fernando Alonso penalty because he changed his mind about how he was going to approach the corner and George Russell nearly ran into him but did run off the track and smashed his car off the barrier, bounced back onto the track and got his wheels stuck underneath it because the wheel tethers anchored the wheels to the car. That's what never happened if we didn't have wheel tethers. So, good points, bad points. George is stuck at a 45 degree ag angle and he's terrified. He's shouting for the red flag. Red flag, red flag, red flag, I'm in the middle of a track. Okay. Red flag, red flag. Red flag you got and yeah, he's quite right to be terrified because he's stuck at a 45 degree angle. He can't see anything apart from the halo and the sky. So he has no idea what's going on in track. Somebody could come around that corner, flat out, and bang into the bottom of George Russell's car. And I don't think that's designed to take an impact. So, yeah, justifiably scaled. Alonso, meanwhile, carries on. None the wiser, really. I mean, he, he approached the corner differently than he did the lap before. Yes, that's true. He did say something about he was carrying a throttle issue, but... I had some, some issues uh, for the last 15 laps or something on the on the battery, on the deployment, so yeah, definitely I was uh, struggling a little bit at the end of, uh, of the race. This is Fernando Alonso. We've known Fando, Fernando Alonso for 20 years. George Russell is a big fan of Fernando Alonso. He's a good friend of Fernando Alonso. So he knows how Fernando Alonso drives and he knows that Fernando Alonso is an expert at racecraft. He can keep someone behind them when they, he has no right to do so. A la Schumacher at Imola. He kept him behind them for 10 laps for Fernando to win the race in a much slower car. Therefore, you've got to, you've got to bear in mind that Fernando does different things to make sure that he's going to get the best drive out the corner and not you, because he doesn't want to be overtaken two laps from the end of the race. Would you? No. It's racecraft. That's what it's called. And Formula One seems to be on this path of legislating more and more to baby people, to nanny the drivers. Good grief. These people are the meant to be the best drivers in the world. They certainly get paid for it. Couple of things stank about the penalty though, he got a 20 second penalty. Now that's a bit strange because if he brake tested George, I would have disqualified him because that's dangerous. That's really dangerous. And look, this is it down at turn 15. Lewis is backing up the pack a little bit. And, oh, Ooh. he went into it. He, he might have lost a bit of front wing there, Sebastian Vettel. And he's saying to Hamilton, What did you do? He, he brake tested me. So, Obviously, the students didn't quite think it was a brake test. But what was it then? Was it an issue with the car or was it Fernando just taking a different line and a different approach to maximise his drive out of the corner? A 20 second penalty is a weird one because it's neither here nor there. It's not severe enough if that was a brake test and it's maybe too severe if it was anything else. But then two weeks later, we come to Suzuka, to Japan, and we're all getting excited about what's going to happen. Fernando's been very philosophical about the whole thing. You know, it's one of these things. It's a one-off decision. It won't happen again. You know, it's not going to change the way I drive. It's not going to change the way the other 20 drivers in the field drive. But then what happens? George goes, well, actually... Wasn't even looking at the road. I was looking at the steering wheel and twiddling my knobs. Um, obviously, a bit of a strange situation that happened last week. Um, as I said at the time, totally caught by surprise. I was actually looking at the steering wheel, making a switch change. What the fuck is going on? Um, as I said at the time, totally caught by surprise. I was actually looking at the steering wheel, making a switch change. What? Hold on a minute. You're following Fernando Alonso at 250 kilometers an hour. You're 30 meters off his tail. And you decide you're not even going to look at the road. You're not going to look at what Fernando's going to do. You're just going to look down at the steering wheel and twiddle your knobs. That's, that beggars belief. So why is George telling us this now? Because last race, after the last race, after the accident, he said that, he was following Fernando down the straight and then suddenly Fernando was really close to him and he had to take avoid in action. But now, two weeks later, George is saying, 
I was actually looking at the steering wheel, making a switch change. Well, I wasn't actually looking at Fernando. I was looking at the steering wheel. When I looked up, I was in Fernando's gearbox. Well, does this maybe explain some of Georgie's past crashes? He was actually, Martin, upside down. And just to reassure you, yeah, so... Uh... Fernando's still pushing the win. Oh, Russell's off. off! George Russell into the wall and out of the race! We're about to have a look. I might see it a bit better from this angle. Max Verstappen on the inside. He fades a little bit to the outside to cover off Carlos Sainz. Trying to go wide, and there you go. George Russell. What the f was he doing? Because he does seem to have a little bit of a record of crashing when following other cars. Is maybe the workload too much for George? Maybe he should just concentrate on actually driving. Because people like Fernando and Sainz... You can see them. They're strategizing while they're driving. They know exactly what's going on. Sometimes they're even asking what other people are doing or where they are because they're working out what they're going to do as they're driving. So they're obviously driver and strategist. And, you know, George might be a good driver, but maybe he's not the sharpest tool in the box. Honestly, see a f for what? What the f Are you okay, Walter? Yeah. 